Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about the ProgPow audit that is finally getting started. So I'm going to read through this Medium article in a second. And as well, I want to talk about some drama stuff that's been happening with Ethereum. I'm not sure if it's quite a big deal, but uh, for some people it was. So I'll mention that soon. And as well as I'm going to talk about some of the hard forks that's going to be coming up for, uh, real soon for Ethereum uh, in October and the next one after that. And as well, I just want to give my perspective of Ethereum and the hash rate and all that at the end. Okay, so to begin, guys, let's begin with this ProgPow audit kickoff. Apparently, this was written by Least Authority, one of the blog writers for Least Authority, I believe. And they said here, kicking off our review of ProgPow. So I'm just going to read through here, guys. It's a really short little article here. I'm just going to I'm just going to fly through it here. A few months ago, it was announced that Least Authority was selected to conduct a security audit of the Ethereum Progressive Proof of Work Algorithm, or ProgPow, for the Ethereum community. We are excited to say that as of last week, Least Authority received the green light to kick off our review efforts. We are aware that there is a lively community debate whether, whether ProgPow meets its intended purposes. For background and context, we default to Hudson Jameson's posts about the goals and expectations of this audit. We hope that our independent review and analysis gives the community useful insight on which to base their decisions about how to best proceed. Okay, uh, so uh, before I keep going here, I just want to mention that um, Least Authority has definitely done multiple audits of different different coins in the past so i'm just on their website now yeah before i continue with the article guys sorry i just wanted to show you guys i think they've they've, they've been doing audits since like 2014 it says uh but i think they don't show all of the audits that they've done uh according to their audit page here audit audit page here so they have like tezos um tezbox wallet uh zcash stuff uh, they have Beam, Beam's Mimble Wimble implementation uh, security audit, and uh, a bunch of other ones as well. So they've done some some decent some decent audits here, and uh, it looks like it looks like a Ethereum as well back in 2015. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, so just to show you guys, uh, at least Authority isn't some new um, audit uh, firm. So they they've been doing they've been doing this kind of stuff for a while. Okay, so continuing with the article here, we plan to deliver our audit findings and initial report by the end of August. Okay, so ProgPow will finally, hopefully, be audited by the end of August uh, of 2019. Uh, despite the delays starting this audit earlier this year, this timeline will give the Ethereum core developers and community time to discuss least authorities' findings and determine what, if anything, needs to be done before the hard fork for Istanbul. As is our preferred process, once we have discussed the audit with our clients and have determined the appropriate strategy for handling any, any issues and vulnerabilities we identified during our review, we'll finalize and publish our report on our website with the consent of our clients. Which I think the, yeah, publish our report is this audit uh, page here. And then uh, the least author <laughs> authoritarians are working on the audit are... Uh, so, okay, so a bunch, a bunch of names here from Lease Authority. We're also hoping to coordinate with others in the community, including a team that is conducting the review process of ProgPow from the hardware perspective. Okay, so there is another team that is going to uh, do the audit for the hardware side of it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, an independent process from our code audit. Uh, since we believe our transparency transparency is necessary, we'll will we will include the names of the contributing team and details of the coordination with others in our final audit report. Okay, great. So uh, we will know hopefully who this team is that is conducting the review of the hardware aspect of Prod Prod So that's cool. And then it says, lastly, uh, we'll be joining Ethereum Call of Core Developers. Yada yada yada. Okay. So that's pretty much it. That was the announcement from Least Authority. And I guess they're just going ahead now with the audit. And hopefully we'll hear something by the end of August, guys. 
Pretty cool. Okay, so for those who don't know what ProgPow is, I'm just gonna briefly read this GitHub thing here. Uh, ProgPow is a proof of work algorithm designed to close the efficiency gap available to specialized ASICs. Okay, it utilizes almost parts of the almost all parts of the commodity hardware. So that we're talking about graphic cards, and comes pre-tuned for the most common hardware utilized in the Ethereum network. Okay, so. Uh, when they say here utilizes almost all parts of commodity hardware uh, GPUs, it also, I believe, also coincides with um, using a lot of the core and memory of the graphic cards. So um, you guys all know for Ethereum currently, ETHash algorithm, it's more memory intensive. But now uh, in ProgPow, it's going to be using the core and memory uh, in order to uh, mine Ethereum. So. The cards are going to be using more, more power, more wattage, and you're going to be getting less hash rate. But uh, that that'll be for everybody. So it's it's going to be all relative anyway. And uh, last thing I, I just want to read here about ProgPow, just so you guys know uh, that they have said the design goal of ProgPow is to have the algorithms requirements match what is available on commodity GPUs. If the algorithm were to be implemented on custom ASIC. ASICs, there, would sh there should be little opportunity for efficiency gains compared to a commodity GPU. So they're claiming here that ASICs will not be able to gain that much more efficiency compared to a graphic card, okay? So that's why I guess it's not going to be ASIC resistant per se, but uh, the, goal, the goal of them is to be uh, resistant, uh, resistance of the centralization of mining power, pr pretty much. So. Um, Pretty good. So that's ProgPow, guys. Uh, that's, that was least authority that I talked about earlier in the article. And uh, now I just want to talk about some stuff with Ethereum, okay? So recently there was on the Ethereum core dev call notes, okay? So they had a, a, a meeting. And it appears that they were talking about IEP2025. And this was a, twi a, twi a Twitter post by Eric Connor. He mentioned this this EIP is being seriously considered as an EIP for Istanbul. So what this EIP is is the it adds uh, 0.055 Ethereum. Okay, so I read it in the GitHub. It's actually not 0 0.44. It's 0 0.055 Ethereum uh, per block for 3,100,000 blocks to go to a dev fund. Okay, so. Apparently that dev fund will be around 136,400 Ethereum. So per block, they they want to enable they want to enable this IP, EIP 2025 so that the devs, the Ethereum devs, will have a, uh, a percentage, I guess, 0.055 ETH per block. Um, so that'll go to a, a dev fund. And he says, Eric Connor says, this is absolutely absurd. This cannot happen. And um, interesting, In, very interesting indeed. I uh, I don't really have much thought to this, but uh, I uh, is it because the Ethereum devs don't have enough support? They don't have enough donations. Are they getting enough money? Uh, I don't know. It's it's interesting to think about. I mean, the our whole the whole ecosystem for Ethereum pretty much is is based on the developers. And if developers are living off ramen noodles and you know all that kind of stuff, then uh, I don't know. Like if they're not getting paid, then they're obviously not going to be uh, incentivized to be doing the work. Maybe I don't know. There's different sides to it. I I don't know if there's a bunch of developers also doing this for free, like working on Ethereum for free. I I don't I don't really know the history or the back end of what how the developer ecosystem works. As you guys know, I'm a GPU miner, and I'm more towards the mining ecosystem. So uh, if any of you that are listening right now, please comment down below if you know anything about the Ethereum developer um, in terms of you know getting paid, are they getting paid, or that kind of stuff. I haven't really looked into that kind of thing. So as you, can, as you guys can see here, here's the EIP2025, uh, Block Rewards Proposal for Independent Ethereum Research. And the uh, looks like here EIP adds 0.005 ETH reward per block to a multi-sig up to a certain budget. Okay, so it says a thousand ETH here. Uh, this one says this Twitter post says 136,000 ETH. So maybe that's wrong. Um, so interesting, 
I, I think there was a there's probably a little bit of community backlash. I did see this uh, Twitter post on the Ethereum subreddit on Reddit, so there was a few comments there. And then uh, just to end off, guys, I just wanted to talk just just to mention so you guys know and have the information that. Uh, the next hard fork for Ethereum is planned for October 2019 of this year, so it's called in Instanbul. And we do not know yet if ProgPow will be implemented uh, into, into this uh, hard fork, okay? So uh, we're not sure, we're not sure yet, but I'm sure after August we will know more after Least Authority does the uh, review of the ProgPow. So that, that'll be really cool. Uh, exciting stuff ahead guys a lot of stuff is happening in the next half year so yeah that instant bowl that's the thing we're gonna be waiting for guys uh, I, I can't wait and lastly guys I just want to mention that the in terms of the hash rate for ethereum it's been slowly going up the difficulty has been you know rising a little bit it has been going down in the past couple days not too much but as you guys can see here there's around I would say 250,000 uh, miners on Ethereum right now, give or take. I'm just guesstimating here according to uh, mining pool stats here. They have a they have a statistic here, a metric that just shows how many miners are on the network right now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say like a quarter million miners on Ethereum right now. And in terms of the hash rate at 174 tera hash right now, it's it's interesting. So when if if ProgPow comes uh, to fruition, then we're gonna we're gonna notice I think pretty much the hash rate is gonna be cut in half, maybe more, because of the existing ASICs on the network. Those those will not be able to mine uh, on ProgPow. So we don't know how many ASICs are on the Ethereum network right now, but who knows? It could be the hash rate could be cut in half. It could be maybe cut one fourth or uh, three fourths even more, like seventy five percent hash rate of one seventy five one seventy four. So uh, yeah, it, it could be something pretty interesting when the time comes guys. So I'll keep you guys updated Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the stuff that I just talked about today I'll see you guys in the next video Smash that like button click the subscribe click the notification bell all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one Have a good one guys and peace out